Hello. So, today uh, we will discuss about uh, two more uh, protocol at the application uh, level right Sim, uh, SMTP and SNMP. So, we will take a overview of the this protocol. Uh, we have already discussed FTP, HTTP, uh, telnet and so on and so forth all our client server base. So, these cases also. So, as, as uh, any type any uh, application layer protocol they rely on underlining uh, other layers like transport IP etcetera right. So, SMTP is for transferring mail from one to another. So, mail as we all know or realize is became a part and parcel of our life right. Without mail it is not possible uh, it, it is something difficult to communicate also right. So, it is now become slowly becoming a official channel of communication and several places the official channel of communication. Another protocol is SNMP which is mainly for management purpose. Now, you see if you look at the overall networking even in a small uh, or in a uh, organizational scale like say uh, institute like IIT Kharagpur, there are several uh, departments large department which has sub networks, the institute has uh, different sub networks and uh, several routers etcetera. Even if we do not go outside the network itself the, the internal dynamics of the network is extremely complicated right. And uh, to manage this we require something to uh, some information to do that right. So, we can only uh, it is not only only when the failure is there signal is not there, but how to manage this all all this underlining network. So, this is one of the protocol which is uh, SNMP which uh, gives that uh, it helps us in collecting and acting on the information from different network resources. So, we will have a brief overview of the this two protocol and uh, before um, we go to the other layers right. So, simple mail transfer protocol at it stands for is something like that we have a main client mail client at uh, one end two mail client at one end popular uh, uh, SMTP server is uh, works on it is a TCP uh, on the basis of TCP and works on port 25 right. So, it is the port 25 where the SMTP server is active right. Uh, traditionally traditionally means what we say default port is port 25. So, it was uh, protocol was originated long back with RFC 821 uh, in 1982 then we have 822 for message formatting goal to transfer mail reliably from one thing one uh, say one mail can a mail client to another mail client at the other end right. Now, uh, now, whenever there is a uh, there is a uh, client server protocol, the server need to listen at one port, which is port 25 in this case. So, whatever mail you are coming received by your uh, uh, mail server, like say we have a mail server is CSC uh, CSC mail server or CSC dot IITKGPSC dot in, or IITKGPSC dot in is the uh, our generic mail server here. Uh, institute mail server. So, it receives at port 25 by default if not there are other uh, changes in there. Uh, there there can be other type of uh, things also like what we say there can be mail uh, mail gateway security type of things then we have some other configuration, but nevertheless the standard default mail gateway is a mail server port is the port 25. So, what is there the client over the network can act with the interact with the server at port 25 right. So, SMTP clients and servers have two major component uh, one is that user agent prepared the message enclosed in envelope uh, like uh, some some agents the popular agents initially were Thunderbird, Eudora and you can have lot of other agents. There is a mail transfer agent transfer the mail across the internet right and uh, this is analogous to our postal system in many way and there is a as MTA is the client. So, corresponding MTA server is there and there is a user agent at the other end which reads the message right. If it is a two way thing then it can sense and it acts as a server and so and so forth the server thing. So, SMTP demons would be running at the two end. 
So, ideally what I can have we can have two different mail servers uh, things which can communicate these mails and we have the other users which poke into this mail server and get the uh, mails out of it right. So, I have individual mailboxes like here we are having individual mailboxes in, in our say IIT KGB mail server or CAC um, uh, server and then we are connecting to the server either through some sort of a directly web linked or I am pulling that mail to some other uh, client at the thing. So, we will talk about it right. So, these are the user agents uh, mail transfer agents. So, there is little bit uh, problem in the arrow uh, it should have been here and this should have pointed here uh, right. So, SMTP also allows use of relays allowing other MTAs to relay the mail right. So, other than MTA acting as a server client, uh, server and client it also allows MTA relay. So, ge getting a mail it is relayed to the internet to the other mail and so on and so forth right. So, mail gateway are used to mail relay prepared by the protocol other than SMTP and convert it to the uh, SNTP right. So, this, this basically uh, uh, it, it relays from one server to another. So, the mail goes on different uh, goes to this different uh, relays and these the things. So, so they are it acts as a mail uh, we have that mail gateway which allows that mail to go to the other end of the thing. Now, if you look at the typical format of email. So, mail is a mail is a text file uh, envelope there is sender address, receiver address and other information of the things. Message there is a email header defines the sender, receiver and subject of the message and other information and mail body contains the actual information of the message right. So, this is the typical thing. So, mail from something mail to uh, the address and there are other details and then we have that uh, actual context. So, we have the envelope this is the overall message which has a header part and a body part. And if you look at different uh, SMTP keywords or F SMTP what we said that uh, functional modules one is hello sender host domain name right mail from email address of the sender received to email of intended recipient data body of the message and quit or quitting this uh, thing. So, these are the uh, uh, these are the standard uh, keywords which are there in the um, in the mail uh, under the SMTP. If you remember uh, we were talking about that uh, during our HTTP uh, discussion or HTTP lecture that we can use telnet like telnet www.iitkgp.ac.in uh, blank 80 provided that is that is not no any security barrier. So, it will talk to that port 80 and then go on uh, um, you can set get post and type of comment. Here also if I know the mail server and if I that is allowed that I can connect like that. So, telnet I can have say cac dot dot in right. So, it will return me that uh, after authentication I can use this one right as a mail from received to putting the data and type of thing. So, I can instead of having any uh, separate uh, front end module or agent I can communicate like this right. So, that is the that is the possibility uh, that, that that is the beauty of this uh, having uh, interoperable services across the thing. There are few more uh, keywords like reset uh, or verify name to be verified no op turn uh, exp and mailing list to be expanded help. So, these are extra keywords not uh, that uh, what we say not so popular keywords, but these are the things which are also allowed in the uh, SMTP. There are some status code to hash hash is the success uh, then we have three hash hash command can be accepted in more uh, with more information four uh, hash hash is the command was reacted, but air condition is temporary right and five hash hash is the command rejected bad user. So, there are different 3 GG's code to uh, to handle that this uh, SMTP communication like here say MTA this is uh, TCP connection has been established 
then the uh, the 220 service uh, ready that that is the uh, 2 as we have seen 2 xx is the success thing then hello some uh, message goes and then uh, it says ok like this. So, initially the connection is established uh, between the two the client and the server client request for the connection the connection established the server respond with 220 is service ready then it says a hello message and then it responds is that it is received ok and go so and so forth. So, if you go on uh, expanding things so it goes from mail from it responded with a ok message uh, it is received to for this ok message then the data then start mail input and go on doing this other uh, information. So, this is the envelope this is the header with a blank line you go on the body of the message right. So, and then uh, it it continues uh, once the body uh, once it is terminated it will it will come to that uh, it says that 250 drive ok that the mail has been pushed to the uh, towards the mail gateway or the MTA. So, connection termination is uh, sending a quit uh, a formal quit by the mail client and then mail uh, 221 receive a service close message is sent by the MTA. So, uh, one is uh, the, there are some problems of in our uh, generic uh, SMTP extends uh, SMTP uh, that uh, it can not handle all sort of uh, data set. So, there is a SMTP extension what we say my multi purpose internet mail extension. So, transform a non ASCII character to a NVD or network virtual terminal ASCII character right. So, otherwise it will not be able to communicate with the thing. So, we can now we have text, application, image, audio, video which can be pushed to this all uh, mail. So, what we do we usually attach that things uh, in some form of other with the mail. So, if those are if there is a non ASCII character there are uh, there may be problem in transmission because those escape character etcetera may interrupt the thing right. Uh, so, this MIME takes care of that. So, it it converts it to a 7 bit NVD ASCII which the SMTP envelope takes as a payload and the communication is between this uh, SMTP server client at the two end and the other end also have the MIME which uh, able to decode and for the user. So, this multipurpose uh, internet mail extension uh, gives a way to communicate between the uh, two with non ASCII type of character sets right which comprises uh, text application image audio video. There can be situation where some of the things are blocked like if you some of the mail server may not accept application or executable files some mail servers may not accept video files and that uh, some there are may be restriction on the size of the thing. So, those are those are uh, what we say upper layer um, or uh, application there are different restriction on the above SMTP right basic SMTP allows the communication between the two, uh, two uh, SMTP server client system. So, there are uh, typical MIME headers located between the email header and the body header uh, like if you remember this was our uh, email header and the body header uh, and it lies between these two and there is that uh, comes with a MIME version uh, that is type uh, of content type content transfer encoding type uh, content ID and content description. So, these are the thing which the MIME header MIME header contains. And there are several, several other uh, constant like what are the different type of things will be there text, plain text, multi part, message, image, video, audio application. There can be different content transfer encoding how to encode the images 7 bit, 8 bit, binary, base uh, 64, coded printable and so and so forth. So, what we see that mine also has a rich, rich set of uh, headers to handle different kind of uh, data. So, MTA and mail access uh, protocol right. So, there is there is another uh, thing that if I have a mail server. 
so how i can how i can access that uh, mail so mta delivers the email to the users mailbox so users mailbox is lying in the mail server can be complex with numerous delivery models routers acls and type of things right so there are exim postfix and mail and these are the different uh, kind of uh, what we say uh, mail server or mail client uh, which which acts on the things now this mail access protocol can be used by the user to retrieve the email from the mailbox so two popular thing as pop3 and imap4 so these are the two popular mail access protocols so what it does so it is from the uh, all messages are there in that uh, mail server so that uh, so this pop3 uh, pop3 actually pulls that uh, message from the mail server or uh, in some cases that is uh, goes on in push pull form and to the uh, um, to your uh, that mail access what we are looking at that the mail access protocols right similarly imap also uh, acts in a similar fashion but so post office protocol or pop3 it is simple allows user to obtain a list of their emails users can retrieve their mails users can either delete or keep mails in their systems and minimize the server uh, resources in other sense this pop3 or even imap uh, allows uh, the user to manage its mail right and uh, can it's it's gives a front end to the user to handle its uh, mail services right so on the other hand imap v4 is uh, the basic philosophy is same so it has more feature than pop3 user can check email header before downloading right so in case of imap4 the user can check the header before downloading and then uh, take a call whether to download or not email can be accessed from any location uh, can search email for a specific string of characters before downloading right so it can be it can search the email for a specific string of characters before downloading that uh, that means it, it gives uh, more manageability or control to the user to handle his mailbox huh, in other sense user can download part of an email user can create delete rename mailboxes of an server so it's a it's a, a, a in the mail server a, uh, in its own uh, mailbox it gives a lot of flexibility in handling that uh, mailbox so that is that is the uh, part of this uh, in case of a imap uh, or imap version 4 so with this uh, we have we see a broad overview of this uh, mail how smtp works now let us have another protocol that snmp or simple network management protocol so uh, snmp so fundamental objective or basic objective of uh, snmp is to manage all aspects of network as well as application related to the uh, network so that means uh, it's 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 a more of a protocol which allows manageability of the network huh? rather uh, than other protocols what we have seen it is the major purpose is transferring data etc from one part to another right anyway uh, in case of snmp it is primarily to manage the network and especially uh, the network as it expands the overall management becomes a major issue uh, not only from the failure but to give a better bandwidth service and so on so forth so two major functionalities of snmp one is monitor snmp implements uh, implementation allow network administrator to monitor their networks in order to uh, to ensure the health of the network right so there are other things but it entire to ensure the health of the network forecast usage and capacity and in problem determinations so this is one of the things so that is a monitoring of the network the other part is snmp provides the capability of the network administrator to affect aspects of the uh, with the network values which regulate network operation can be altered allowing administrator to quickly respond to network problems dynamically etc so one is one is monitoring so what what is there that it is getting regular information about the thing 
another is based on that information the network manager or the administrator can take a call on the things that means it can manage the things like implement new network changes improve real time testing and how it is getting affected and type of things it can do of the network so as it uh, as it uh, requires there should be some agents or what we say snmp agents who will be reporting the status of the network uh, or information about the network so snmp implements a manager client sub agent model which conform very closely to the client server model right so it is uh, sort of a agent based things eh? so rfc 1157 defines the component and interaction involved in snmp snmp community which include management information base or uh, a mib snmp agent a snmp manager and there are snmp sub agent so this constitutes or uh, define there is these other things which are which are required for this uh, operation of the snmp and uh, snmp agent is a software that runs on a piece of network equipment it can be host router printer and others and maintains the information about the configuration or current state of the database so in other sense wherever this network connectivity is uh, there if we need to be managed like specially intermediate things like router etc this snmp agents uh, runs on a on that particular equipment so it's a software which runs on a, either in the host network printer in a router and or uh, any network type of devices and that maintains information about the uh, configuration and current state of the database right so information of the database is described in management information base or mibs right so it has a, has a particular structure by which this uh, management information bases are maintained so snmp manager is an application program that connects to the snmp engine to query or modify the database in the agent so the manager uh, connects to the snmp agent to either query the agent from data or update the database or modify the database snmp protocol is the application layer protocol used by snmp agents and manager to send the send and receive data right so it's a application layer protocol used by the snmp agents and manager to send and receive agent is the snmp protocol basic protocol that so what we have we have agent which is collecting data we have a management information base to have the database we have a snmp manager that is a application program that contacts the snmp agent to query and modify the database and we have a snmp protocol is the application layer protocol that is a snmp agents and manager sends and receives data the management uh, uh, station so if you if we look at that uh, particular uh, configuration so we have this management station where snmp manager process is running snmp Uh, this protocol is running it runs snmp incidentally runs on primarily on udp we have underlying ip then the ip network and uh, the data things are there so if there is a query it goes through and access this agent so the from the manager the query goes to the agent the data or traps comes to the things this snmp agent as we are discussing is has a mib or management information base right so it contains the database address so the manager this agent is sitting in some network devices so this this snmp messages are communicated between these two huh? in between these two uh, snmp uh, of the manager and snmp of the uh, agent so what is this mib is specific specifies the management object mib is a text file that describe named object using a syntax which is described in abstract syntax notation 1 right so asn1 is a formal language for describing the data and its property so it is a standard formal uh, standard way of representation in linux mib files are in the directory that particular directory and uh, mib2 defined in rfc1213 defines the manage object of the tcp ip network so these are these are uh, the data uh base or the data which are contained in the things so which object to be managed the ob managed objects each managed object is assigned a object identifier or oid oid is a specified in a mib file 
So, what is the object identifier is specified in a MIB file. So, the OID can be represented as a sequence of integers separated by two decimal point or a uh, and by a text string. Right. So, it is a sequence of in uh, uh, integer which is separated by a decimal points by decimal points and by a text string. So, uh, incidentally here the example was not there, but if you uh, check in any standard book or thing. So, you see that how it is represented. When a SNMP manager requests for the object, it sends the OID or object identifier to the SNMP agent. Right. So, in that way it can find out that on a for a particular uh, data or information if it is manager is seeking for some manageability issues, it can it can hook into like this. So, if we look at the SNMP protocol down the line, so SNMP manager and SNMP engine communicate via SNMP protocol, generally manager sends queries and agents and agent responses. So, manager sends query agent responses exception traps are initiated by agents. So, there if there are ex, uh, external situation the traps uh, are initiated by the agents which are pushed to the manager. So, one side manager other agent. So, it get request get response this is at port 161 uh, get net request and rest response and it goes on uh, goes on like this. So, it said request and response and if there is a trap without any uh, request it can send the uh, trap message to the SNMP manager. So, in case of SNMP protocol it has a get request, request the value for one or more object, guess next request, request the value for next object according to the lexicographical order of OID. So, OID has a chronological or a lexicographical order and it, it uh, request for that. Uh, self request a request to modify the value of one or more object that is a set request. So, you want it wants to set the request, get respond, uh, send by SNMP agent in response to the get request, get next request or set request uh, message. Right? So, we what we have one is that requesting the thing, one is one uh, other type of thing is the setting the request that is request to modify some one or more value of the object and it gets a response of the thing. Trap is a SNMP trap is a notification sent by the SNMP agent without any uh, query from the SNMP manager to a SNMP manager which triggered by certain events at the agent. So, agent may have some certain events which it want to inform immediately to the manager. So, these trap messages are for that. So, it is an MP uh, versions. So, the typically there are three versions which are in active use in SNMP version 1 that is in 1990 it came up, version 2 C which is 1996. 6 and uh, version 3 2002. Uh, so, these are the uh, things and uh, in, in version 2 there is a it attempts to a version 3 attempts to address the uh, security issues. So, many SNMP agents and managers supports all three versions of the protocol. So, there are uh, SNMP agents and manager uh, which supports all these parts all these three versions of the protocol. So, uh, this is a typical uh, format of a SNMP packet uh, which SNMP 1 get set uh, messages clear text string that is used as a password PDU type for SNMP 1 32 bit and for SNMP 2 it is 64 bit unique ID that matches uh, the request with the replies uh, right otherwise who uh, as is the request response. So, we need to have some unique ID to uh, identify that which uh, which which whose response it is. Finally, we have a issue of SNMP security as uh, as this it carries information about the different network devices and accumulates those. So, security becomes a major challenge. So, SNMP version 1 uses plain text community string for authentication and plain text without encryption in case of SNMP v1, SNMP v2 was supposed to fix security problems, but effort, uh, but could not the C is the SNMP stands for community type of uh, issues. Finally, SNMP version 3 has numerous security features like it ensures that the packet has not been tampered with that is the integrity issue. Uh, the ensure that the is on a valid source that is the authentication 
and uh, ensures that the message cannot be read by unauthorized uh, some agent or person or whatever that is the privacy or confidentiality is uh, maintained. So, what we see that all these uh, integrity authentication privacy or confidentiality or CIA property sometimes we say are tried to uh, has been tried to uh, uh, has been attempted in SMP version 3. So, this uh, in this particular discussion what we try to uh, impress upon or what our objective is to so discuss about one two again popular protocol one SNM, uh, uh, SMTP that is the mail protocol which we experience day in day out. SNMP as such we do not experience uh, directly, but virtually the management of the network keeps this whole thing running. right? So, it is it is the overall management of the uh, network which makes these uh, things running and for that this SNMP with SNMP uh, these agents and the uh, these managers they take care of this overall uh, management and take uh, corrective actions to make the keep the uh, health condition of the network in a uh, appropriate state. We have uh, referred some of the references we uh, I have mentioned and uh, though it is uh, there can be other several internet resources. So, let us uh, stop uh, at the at this stage today. Uh, and we will uh, discuss about other layers and applications in the subsequent uh, uh, lectures. Thank you.